in this video, I'm gonna do a complete review of these Petro cleats. It goes underneath your shoe, between your shoe and your cleat, and what it allows you to do is to take the cleat and move it aft or more towards the heel. It moves it 24 millimeters compared to the normal holes inside your shoe. And it's very important that you understand this. I was not paid by this company. I'm not sponsored by this company. I paid for it with my own money. You're not gonna like these. Let's talk about the good things about Petro cleats. Number one, you don't have to drill your shoes. So the nice thing about these is if you're attempting to try midfoot or at least farther back, these are very, very cheap for what you're getting. It's a very high quality product, but if you don't like them, you just take them off and put your cleats where they were before. But this is the most important thing in regard to why you would use these Petro cleats. And the answer is, if you're not a 20 year old Italian professional cyclist who's genetically gifted, here's the big question. If your foot is in pain, if you have problems, if you have some medical problems, would you rather have a, per, a, a bike fit that looks professional like you're a pro, but be in misery? Or would you rather be comfortable? So let me list for you some of the problems that I've had in the past that these things solve. Achilles tendonitis, metatarsalgia. Metatarsalgia sucks. If you have bunions, the last thing is if you have hammer toes. I hope you found this video useful in deciding if you're gonna get these. I'll make another video in the future about whether you should go midfoot, and thanks for watching.